Shout out to Marco Pedrana, AMG, Alfredo Jr., Dan Real, Big Mantis, Christopher Gray, Mata Alcusa, Nathan Arseno, and Touch My Dilly. Welcome back again, with King family, to another F1 Clash video. And today we're going to be doing our How to Win Series 6. Series 6. I don't know what's up with me and my numbers, man. Series 6. How to Win Series 6 uh, video today. Uh, no, that's not where we want to go. How to Win Series 6 is where we're at. So we're going to be doing part one with two races. Uh, let me see if Series 6 is 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 four race, four tracks or five tracks. All right, so it's five tracks for Series 6. So we're going to be doing uh, two tracks in Part 1. And then we're going to do try to do three tracks in Part 2. All right, so uh, let's jump into it and see what we can get. We're going to be using for our drivers, our Guan Yu Zhou and our Mick Schumacher that we used for our Series 5 video. Uh, if you have unlocked Kevin Magnuson uh, at this point, then you want to switch in your Magnuson. Uh, for your your Guan uh, and use Kevin and your Mick Schumacher would be a better run. All right, there you can see the team score has been also lowered uh, from using Guan because he's on the 10% buff week. Regularly, he won't be on that 10% buff week. So your best pick would be Kevin Magnuson and Mick Schumacher at this point. As for a car setup, uh, this is the same car setup that we're going to be running uh, here. So we can get a, a rival with a good car and we will get uh, the better drivers. All right. So that's the reason why we're using that setup. All right. So let's jump into it. You can also use the stock part setup if you choose to. Uh, it's up to you really uh, on what setup you want to use. All right. But that, that, that setup that I just shared or you're going to run the stock part setup uh, would be the best setup to use. All right. So let's jump into it. Here we go, finding a match with a higher team score than us. Uh, so hopefully that doesn't pose a challenge. And we're on our first track, which is France. All right. So remember to subscribe to the channel if you have not yet subscribed. Turn on your post notifications. Also remember to smash that like button. Check out some of the, our other videos on how to do setups, how to pick your best drivers, and all of that as well. All right. So let's see where we're going to qualify with Mick Schumacher here. And... Kevin Magnuson. There we see Kevin Magnuson out qualifying Hamilton and Zhou. All right. So right here we see that we're getting matched with Lewis Hamilton. So right now uh, I think this is going to be rare Hamilton. Hopefully it's common Hamilton. If it's common Hamilton, then it's fine because our drivers are currently stronger than common Hamilton. But if it turns out to be a rare Hamilton, then we're going to have to lower our team score uh, so we don't get matched against those kind of drivers. All right. I mean we're still stronger than rare Hamilton. Uh, with with Joe, with Kevin Magnuson and Mick, so hopefully it's a common Hamilton though. Hopefully, All right? So good little start here from Or Drivers, Mick Schumacher, putting up a good little start there. Let's give him a little cut down and a little boost back up, so he can pick up some position. As we see, our Kevin Magnuson here out in the front fighting uh, to get a position. All right, so we're gonna cut him down there, and then we're gonna cut down or Mick here. All right, so we started off on medium tires and hard tires. So we're going to go for three laps on those mediums, and we're going to possibly go for three laps on the hards. Uh, depends on how far back or Mick Schumacher is. If he's not too far back, then we'll have to go uh, for four laps on those hards. Uh, but if he's, at, if he's a good distance behind uh, Kevin Magnuson, then we could go to pit uh, and do a 3-2-3 three, three, or a 3-3-2. Uh, with one driver and a 3-2-3 three, three with the other driver. Other than that, we're going to be doing a 4-2-2 two, two, and a 3-2-3 three, three, uh, with or Kevin Magnuson. All right. So at this point, uh, we're conserving and saving on fuel and we're saving on saving on that servicing time as we want 50% servicing time for our boost stint. Uh, that's going to be coming up with our Kevin Magnuson. And if we do have find or make Schumacher to be in there, as well, we will also use him uh, for his boost in on that 50% mark. All right, so here we go for the beginning of the third uh, lap in which we're going to bring Kevin Magnuson to pit here. Looks like he, he could go around for a fourth lap, but we're not going to go for that. We're going to put in our soft tires here and we're going to come back no servicing as we want that 50%. And then you see Mick Schumacher crossing the line with 50%. So he's good for four. Uh, but if the distance is great, uh, in between drivers, then I might go in uh, for 
uh, a pit stop with Mick and do a three, two, three with him or a three, three, two. It looks like it, it's, it possibly looks like it's going to be a, a, a four, two, two with Mick. Uh, he's not as far as away as I would like him to be. And here we go now. We can boost now or Kevin Magnuson into pit. I want to cut him down. Once you enter the pit, you want to cut them down so they don't burn down that service bar. As that service bar burns down faster on boosts. When you're boosting out the pit and you're boosting into the pit, the service bar burns down a lot faster. Now we're going to cut up to boost for two laps. As we go around with our Mick for his stop, we're going to see if we can get a no service in stop, 6%. Uh, he'll have to make it back around with 50%, so he's not going to make that. So we'll have to make the servicing stop right now. And then we'll we'll make a no servicing stop after we've made this pit stop. All right, so he's not going to make it to 50% around there. All right, we don't want to, we don't want his team artist bug to catch him. So we're going to boost him in uh, from here. And then we're going to boost back or Mick Schumacher to see if he can overtake. Good defending from the rival Hamilton, but Kevin Magnus in it. Still got the position, and now he can, he's gonna have to clear. We're gonna come back to mediums uh, with servicing with Magnus in here for him to boost the finish, and then we're gonna do two boost laps uh, with Mick Schumacher, and then come back to pit, no servicing style, two boost laps uh, with Mick Schumacher there. Rival Hamilton on those hards. Come on, Kevin, you can pick up some of these positions. Uh, those hards does not look like they're go he's gonna make it to finish. How much it, it's it's three to four laps on hard tires to see how much is it on magnuson yep three to four laps on hard tires so he should go back to pit with his hamilton on those hards so we should get by him uh after we've made our pit stop here and we're just gonna boost or kevin he's living in the pits lucky for us or mick schumacher is going around for another stop we might have to bring back Mick to service in this time for the second stop. Uh, I didn't want it to bring it bring him in to for service in for the second stop, but I doubt he's gonna have the, that 50% that we need uh, to boost the finish. So we'll have to just bring him in. There you can see I put in my go to pit order with service in for Mick Schumacher for softs. Let's see if we can get a late pit here, soft tires. And then we're going to input service in. All right, so he went wide. And there we see the rival Hamilton continuing uh, on those hards. So he's going to stop on that seventh lap. Either way, he'll have to stop and we'll have to pass. We would have to pass him either ways. So if he had stopped there, we would have passed. Uh, if he did not stop, we will still have to pass anyways. All right, so we just need our Kevin Magnuson now to get by this Bottas here. Down the inside, Kevin. Cut down, boost back up. Use that technique to let your drivers pick a better line. There we go, finally. Now we can scream around as Hamilton is out of tires and he's be going to pit there. And or Kevin will just scream by him in the pit. Then we can cut down Kevin here. And basically let him cruise. We have nice little distance. So he does not run out of tires. You got to now pay close attention to the rival Joe, who's on those hards. I want to make sure he does not catch up to our Magnus in here. So we basically did a three, two, three with or Magnuson, and we basically did a four, two, two uh, with or Mick Schumacher. Uh, here in series six and we're now just going to boost across the line for the win there we go all right so we want to also look if that was a rare hamilton or if it was a common if it's a common hamilton then that's all right yep it was a rare hamilton though our magnuson is stronger than a rare hamilton uh probably your magnuson will not be at level five uh, so probably that's why uh, we got that rare Hamilton because our Magnuson was at level five. Uh, but yeah, you you want you always want to try to make sure uh, if you get that Hamilton with like a level one Magnuson, uh, then you need to break down. All right, either you're gonna break down your car 
or you're gonna break down those drivers all right let's jump on into our next race here we go for our next race we are gonna be on Monza Italy we have already raced on these tracks before we've already raced on these tracks before so just remember it's gonna be a wet one here at Imola completely wet as you can see two to four two to four so we're gonna be doing four laps with Kevin Magnuson and three laps with Mick Schumacher starting off with that boost as usual Here we go. So the race has started beautifully here. Uh, so we're going to go for three laps with Mick and then we're going to go four laps with Magnuson here. So we're going to be doing a three, three, two with Mick and then we're going to possibly do a four, four with uh, Kevin here. Let's see. Beautiful racing here from Kevin using his high defense uh, to hold down the pack as or Mick Schumacher trails behind the rival stroll holding P21 really beautifully here all right so we're gonna cross that line 50% on Kevin Magnuson also crossing the line with 50% with Mick Schumacher so we probably could do like a 4-4 with both of our drivers here as it's 3-4 to four. if your drivers are not doing 3-4 to four, and you want to make sure you do a three, three, two. All right, or you could do a three, two, three as well. Three laps can serve, uh, two laps boosts, no servicing. All right, let's do the three, two, two for demonstration purposes here with Mick Schumacher. And so we're gonna bring in Mick here. There we see the rival has also gone to pit and we have 71% of tires. So we're gonna come back out with Mick on full blast for two laps. All right, let's go. So Mick Schumacher boosting away as Kevin Magnuson now going into pit. Magnuson should get out before Mick comes around. Should he? Yes, he should. All right, but we want to let our Mick goes by. So we're going to cut down Magnuson here and kind of team Arders Mick. Let Mick go by as Magnuson is going to be doing a one stop while Mick is not. So we're going to bring Mick into pit here for fresh tires. And hopefully he gets out in front of Stroll is where we want to get him. Come on, boost, boost. All right, let's see if we can get out right behind Stroll. We wanted to get out in front of Stroll, but it didn't work out. So we want to get out behind Stroll here. As our Magnuson leading the pack, holding up the pack really nice here as the rival Verstappen should go to pit here. So we're, what we're gonna do now is that we're gonna boost for Kevin by pit. And then we're gonna cut that down. As you can see, we have 9% of tires uh, extra. So you wanna make sure you cross that line with that 50%. There we go, having that 50%. And we could cut back down Kevin to conserve. And then we're gonna boost by with Mick. Let's see if he can get by the rival. Nope. 
So Mick is basically boosting to finish from here. While Magnuson continues to hold his lead out there. All right, let's cut down Mick here so he doesn't team Arder or Kevin. Verstappen suffering a breakdown here. So our make sure to squeeze by him, trying to keep up with or Kevin Magnuson, who's done, who's who has done a zero stop. Now on the final lap, 25% of tires to go all the way home, and or Mick Schumacher is just gonna cruise here. All right, so we're gonna try and add the other track here and get three tracks in part two, part one, and then we'll do two tracks in part two. So let's see if I can get another track after this one, other than Imola. And uh, which other track did we race on a while ago? I don't even remember. <laughs> oh, man. My memory is so bad, guys. All right, there we go. Let's see if we can get that other track. I guess when I see it, I'll know the track that we raced on earlier for that dry race. So you could do the four, four, the three, two, three, or you could do a three, three, two, or you could do uh, the four, four uh, here at Imola. So you see, we did four, four with Kevin Magnuson and three, two, three uh, with our driver. We saw the rival doing a three, three, two, and a three, three, one, one because of the breakdown. All right, let's see if we can get on to. Uh, the another track. Yeah, we got France and we got Imola. So let's see if we can find another track uh, and get that in this video for three tracks. All right, let's jump on into it. Here we go for our next track, Spain. Really nice. So that's three different tracks here, and we're gonna save the next two tracks for part two of this two-part video. So make sure you check out part two uh, later down today. For the next two tracks a little tighter qualifying here we got we're going up against joe and magnuson and we're going to kick it off again now spain is one of the tracks that you you mostly want to do a one stop at spain uh, because of the high tire management that your drivers get at spain so you mostly want to do a one stop and your one stop will throw off your rival most of the time as most of the time the rival might be attempting for a two stop all right, so you attempting for a one stop kind of throws him off. Uh, real player R AI, it kind of throws them off, as most of the time arrival will be going for a two stop here uh, at Spain. Look at that car crashing out. <laughs> Just a small skin out there from that car. He came back on the track. That's one of the things that I don't like as well. As you can see, he got a spin out and he managed to hold his position. Why? Because he blocked. He, he brought back his car on the road on the road. And he basically blocked up uh, the entire pack. So he basically did not lose anything from that spin out. All right. So that's one of the things that I don't like uh, as well with the gameplay. Uh, if the car spins out, it should at least lose a few positions uh, before it comes back on the track. Even uh, look at the rival spinning out there. That's a completely spin out. And that's what I'm talking about. You saw him lose a few, a few positions, the rival Joe lost a few positions and came back on the track uh after he lost a few positions that's what i'm talking about that's how it should be uh here at spain so be mindful of spinning out here at spain as you can see two drivers spinning out so far so we're very mind we're going to be very mindful of that we're going to be very very mindful of that one skid off the road one spin out completely a double spin so we're going to be look at that another one Spinning that looks like an accident. That looks like an accident. Looks like this car is going to catch a fire. That car is going to catch a fire, guys. It's going to be a safety car. Yep, there goes the safety car. All right, let's see where is the safety car. So it's going to be a virtual safety car. Uh, so we want to we want to we want to pit now. Uh, what are we going to go for? Hards? Yeah, we're going to go around. We're going to go around. It's going to be a virtual safety car. So first lap of virtual safety. Uh, we're not going to pit here. Uh, let's bring in hards no service in for mick schumacher did we get him in nope so we're not going to pit on the virtual safety here we're going to pit in this lap so we pick up a few positions but uh, uh we're still going to lose those positions as 
uh, the safety car is going to run in the next lap. All right. So there goes the safety car going out. We see uh, the number one car going to pit. When there is a safety car in the game, guys, you do not lose servicing time. So right now, as there is a safety car, we're going to pit with no servicing. We're going to change our tires with no servicing. And these tires are going to be going to the end. All right. So there's a safety car. Safety lap, you don't lose any servicing time. So we have 68 and 69% servicing time. And we're going to use that servicing time to our advantage uh, to get bring these cars to, our, to the end. If we had pit with Mick Schumacher in that last lap, then we would have gotten the overcut. Uh, on the rival Zoe there. But we got a good pit stop with Kevin Magnuson. We came back with, to both hard tires with both our drivers. And we see the safety car working beautiful here, holding up the pack. Uh, but we're way, way behind, so we're not going to catch up uh, to the pack. So we're going to boost, wait for it, wait for it to go in. Then we're basically going to boost and men maintain our positions to finish from here. All right, so there goes the safety car in. So we're going to just cut up to regular driving here. As we don't want to push our drivers too much here at Spain for them to skid off the track. So we're just going to use regular driving here and pick up a few positions as we go along. All right. Go, 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 Mick. All right. So we have enough tires. We should, we, we're hoping to have enough. Let's cut down to conserve so we can save some of that service in time. We want to have 15%. At least to boost the finish. 50% at least to boost the finish. Let's cut up back to regular driving here. The rival Kevin Magnuson tires does not look like he's going to be able to go to the end on those. All right, so there we go, crossing the line with 50%. All right, we're going to save. We could boost the finish from here with our Magnuson, but we're going to save a few. We're going to save as it's going to be one more lap after this, so we're going to save a little bit. We're just saving a little bit here. Right, let's boost now, both our drivers, uh, to finish. I doubt the rival Magnuson is going to complete the race on those tires. You, you'll have to go back to pit. And you know the AIs in the game is very messed up. As you can see, he's not going back to pit. And he's going to be able to make it back around uh, to finish on those tires. He might run out. He might not run out. It is just what it is. It is how the game is currently programmed, all right, for the AIs to push and try their best. And But you won't be able to do what the AIs do on their tires, all right? So they'll use a little bit of tires and go to finish, but you won't be able to do that if you're on the same amount of tires, all right? So there goes Magnuson dropping back now on his softs, his mediums now out. And here we come, getting blocked up. Hate that as well. When a car is on zero tires, you saw him there. He blocked the rest of the pack and basically just took P17 for himself. All right. So that's basically going to be it for this one. Uh, let me know down in the comment how you guys are doing in Series 6. Uh, use code word Eurochip uh, to make it to, to let me know that you made it to this portion of the video. Really appreciate you guys so much who watch the full videos for all your support. And that's basically going to be it for this one. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Make sure you look out for part two coming out later on. And yeah, catch you guys then. Peace, guys. Well, good. Bye.